Okay guys, so it's literally been a week, like as in seven days. I washed my hair last Thursday. I'm loving how my hair looks. It still holds up really well. Now I did refresh the front of my hair with the um, the moisturizing cream and the, and the thick gel when I got them. But I don't know if you can see these pieces right here that are kind of like curly but straight. I don't know if because the product was too heavy on top of the product or what, but it kind of did that to my hair. And it made me not love it the way that I loved the other gel because it didn't do that to my hair. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wash my hair completely and I'm gonna style my hair with the moisturizing cream and the thick gel alone to see what it does so that I can figure out which one I really like. And I'm also gonna see if it was that brush in the comb or if it was just because I took my hair out of the braids and my hair was just shedding because I hadn't combed it in so long. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have completely washed my hair and I normally put on a leave-in, like I like a thick leave-in to coat my hair before I put product on, but since I'm using the, um, the strong coat gel and the styling cream, the styling cream is going to be my moisture. So last time I couldn't get this comb or the brush through my hair and that was literally my own fault because I didn't really detangle. I took out braids and forgot to detangle. Probably one of the worst decisions. So I'm gonna do my little normal thing. Clip my hair up in fours and start working on this little back area. Normally I would spray water, but my hair is literally dripping wet. This cream is like thick, thick. Like, it's not falling off this thick, so it's probably too much. So, actually, that probably would have been done my whole back section. So, I'm just gonna spread this on my hair and comb it out. To make sure my hair feels nice and moisturized, and also you can use it on its own. this in the brush it curls up really nicely like I said when I popped on earlier I had to wash my hair in a week so I need something that's gonna hold my hair I'm gonna add some gel and even this is pretty thick look it's just hanging so it does have good slip for sure I think I do need to add a little bit of water water brush through it so at this point you know the routine feels good looks good Okay, so my hair is fully done. This stuff is actually pretty thick. I barely used any of this cream, like, it's so thick. I actually use less cream than I use as gel, and even with the gel, to do my whole head, I still didn't use a lot. So I can get probably about two more uses out of this gel. I'd probably get six to eight more uses out of this styling cream. Um, your money's gonna go a long way there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it dry I still see these pieces right here they're a little longer but they are more curled than they were earlier I kind of feel like it's heavy and it's like more weight down it's kind of like elongating cream like you not elongating but you know how you can buy cream for your hair it's like to make your hair stretch I'm gonna say that it falls into the hair stretchy family I mean because my hair does look a little longer however it's not dry and it pulls on the front which the other one it didn't i want to say that the other gel had more slip though so we will see i am going to let my hair dry i'm going to be back in the morning to 
see what the dry product looks like and to fluff it out and to see if I get the result that I'm looking for. Okay, so my hair is all dry. not really flaking it's time to style my hair so I'm gonna grab the pattern spray um, and a little bit of oil because that's usually what I do once I defluff my hair so before I get to that let me just say it actually feels the same it's not a real hard cast I think that that moisture cream is so thick it softens and I didn't do the leave-in like I normally do so I just did that moisture cream and maybe that's why it's so thick to absorb absorb all of that um even in the front my pieces that didn't curl that were like weird before i guess it was because my hair was not washed yet and it was just too much and too heavy yeah but honestly like i'm a fan of both and i don't really have any real complaints um except for the big bottles are everything is 25 bucks right so do I want to spend $50 just on two styling products to do my hair or do I just want to buy the gel and use the leave-in that I have? And I feel like if it'll work with a leave-in, I feel like it might work with other leave-ins. But before I get to that, I'm going to take my pick. And I was reading um, on the back of the box, it's like pro tip, to add oils at the tips of your pick so that when you do it, it'll oil your scalp. So we're gonna see what that do. A little bit of oil, do my first pick and lift. Second pick and lift. This pick actually feels good on the scalp. It's a good scalp scratcher now. I normally either put like three braids on the side or I pull it to the side. So I'm gonna go in and do that and then I'm gonna lay, come back and lay these baby hairs. I tried to get the pattern um, edge control brush because it was actually really cute. It had the really thick brush, mine are like really thin, had a good comb and then it also, you can part with it. Like you can part with this too, but honestly, I just feel like the other one looked fancier, so I wanted it. Um, but I'll be right back. Okay, so I wanted to add me some little twisties on the side. To finish, I'm gonna take my pattern edge control and my little edge control brush. I kinda like to lift this a little bit. finished results um i definitely 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 like pattern styling products i stand by the gel i bought the big one so you know it's real i really love the moisture cream like the edge control i love this pick so round one with this comb didn't really go good but when i washed my hair and i combed in the shower left the hair in it Literally, this is all the hair that's left from me combing through my hair. And then this is the brush. This is it. So this is the combined hair from the comb and the brush from combing my hair out this time. It did make life a lot easier. This brush does make the curls pop. Um, I definitely, definitely stand by it. But I think what my combination is going to be is a leave-in conditioner. And because I have so many of them already, I'm going to use the leave-ins that I got because I already have some that I love. And that gel, I feel like that combination is great. This combination, I feel like, is pretty good too. But I don't know. I think the other one is just more my lane and it's also cheaper. 
cheaper probably my favorite because it's cheaper i mean this collection i brought travel sizes and everything except for the big gel which i went and bought the big one and i think the the comb and brush set was 30 bucks this line is pretty pricey but it is quality products i do feel like you get what you pay for and i would definitely repurchase the gel and a moisture cream um comb and brushes don't need to be repurchased this mist, I like it, it's good, but I feel like in my water, I always have my own little oils in there. Essentially, I could just keep doing the same thing because that works for me. Okay, so just to give an update real quick on the gel and the um, moisture cream. I'm on day three, it actually looks better today. Yesterday, I was kind of frizzy and I wasn't feeling it actually. It's still a little less frizzier than I like, but as you can see, it's like growing. It's more picked out and defined than it was when I finished but I'm still gonna say that I stand on the leave-in conditioner and the gel because like I feel like what my hair looks like on day three my hair was looking like at day seven with the other product okay guys so it's an update I am on day four and a half five because I washed my hair Thursday night but like it was at the end of the night and now it's now Monday night and it looks better on the camera than it does in real life but there's too much frizz it's time for me to refresh so what I'm gonna do is refresh with this and um, just some water I'm gonna refresh tonight and I'm gonna come back in the morning to see how it looks and to give you my final thoughts on which one that I prefer but I'm pretty sure I know already which one is gonna be the winner okay guys so this is the final update is actually the next day because I wanted my hair to get more fluffy but I am gonna say, I just love the curl gel. Like that's the one. I have like way more definition. It feels softer. I feel like my curls define more in that. And maybe that's why the name curl gel, that's why they named it curl gel. But definitely this is the one, this is Bay right here. For more videos on hair, makeup, um, things like that, Make sure that you like this video and make sure that you subscribe because if you don't like this video and you subscribe, one, I'm not gonna pop up. Two, you're not gonna see my video. I had almost forgot to take that clip out and I forgot to lay the rest of these little hairs right here. I do fucks with this edge control too. It gave me a good lay. So with that said, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video and you found it helpful, Give me a thumbs up. If you tried these products, let me know how they work. Leave me comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.